Now in this first part, for three marks, we're asked to find the sum of all the even numbers from 2 to 100 inclusive. So, how are you going to do that? Well, you could type them into your calculator, I suppose, but that's going to take forever. And for three marks, that's not going to be worth it. Now, what we've got here is an arithmetic series. And you should be familiar with arithmetic series. Remember that, uh, just give you some quick background stuff. First term is always called A. And the next term is A plus D. We always add on the same difference between each term. That's called D. So the third term would be A plus 2D. The fourth term, A plus 3D, and so on. It would just go on like that, okay? So you can see, hopefully, that the nth term is always going to be A plus N minus 1 times D. N being the number of terms that we uh, have, okay? And it can also be shown, I've got proof on the uh, my website, okay, for things like this, the sum of the first n terms. That is given by n over 2 multiplied by twice the first term plus n minus 1d. Although there is another formula which is sometimes useful and uh, on this occasion, to be honest, it is the useful formula to, uh, to have. And that is the sum of the first n terms can also be expressed as n over 2 all multiplied by the first term plus the last term. So, when it comes to doing this question here, I'm going to want to use this formula. I know the first term, it's 2. I know the last term, it's 100. Only problem is, I don't know how many terms there are. But I can easily get around that. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious how many terms there are, but tell you what, I'm going to just show you how you can work it out when it's not so obvious. And that's going to be proved to be quite important later on in this uh, um, particular question. But if we want to find the number of terms n, let's just put for the number of terms n first of all. Okay, number of terms n. Then what we turn to is this formula here, the nth term. Well, if there are n terms through here, this would be the nth term, the last term here, 100. So I can say that 100 will equal, that's the nth term, 100, is equal to the first term, 2, plus n minus 1, multiplied by the common difference. And the difference, the gap between each of these numbers, is always going to be 2. It goes up in 2s. So what I could do now is just expand this. We've got 100 equals 2 plus 2n minus 2. 2n minus 2. The 2's cancel, leaving us with 2n equals 100. So if 2n equals 100, n must be equal to 50. 50 terms. Now I know that was pretty obvious, okay, for this particular one, but as I say, this will prove useful in other problems. And there is a part of this question that you're going to need to know this idea. Anyway, now we know that there are 50 terms in this series, we can now find out what the sum of those first 50 terms are by using this formula or this one, it doesn't matter. I'm going to use this one, leave it to you to use that one and check that you get the same answer. So we can therefore say that, this, that well I'll tell you what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy that down because we want to know what that answer is. So let's just have that as our intro, 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus and so on, all the way up to 100 equals, what well, it's going to equal S50, the sum of the first 50 terms. And what does this equal? Well, it equals n over 2, 50 over 2, multiplied by the first term, a, which we know is 2, plus the last term, which is 100. So what we've got here is 102, you could divide that by 2. 102 divided by 2 is 51. And if you do 50 times 51, you'll end up with 2,550. Alright? So as I said before, try this one. 
S50. Be 50 over 2, 2 times the first term, 2 plus 50 minus 1, in other words 49, times the common difference 2, and you should find you still come out with this answer here. Alright?